Um, okay, so I'm trying to take stock of the various views around the table. I think given that there's a seems to be consensus that no one's particularly uh, against the concept of changing the status quo, it strikes me that there are there's really a spectrum here. And at one end of the spectrum is the status quo where there's a blanket ban. At the other end of the spectrum, there's a complete reversal of the ban. And by default, everyone and anyone who's eligible to vote can vote. And then there seems to be a lot of places in the middle. And uh, I guess some of the factors that are jumping out of me is that this is a very three-dimensional thing, uh, where, you know, in terms of who can or can't vote. And some of the parameters, for example, type of offence have been mooted. Other things that strike me are whether uh, the sentence is custodial or non-custodial, which seems to be the status quo. Uh, there's a little bit of discussion around length of sentences, whether they're short or long, uh, which I think you, you touched on. But I think even falling on from that is the other dimension of where the person sits within the cycle of their sentence relative to the electoral cycle itself. Uh, and what I mean by that is the example given that if someone is in a long sentence by which the term of the election that they're eligible to vote in or may vote in is not relevant to them because they will still be in custodial sentence by the end of that electoral cycle, does that have any effect on their ability to vote or by, by default their interest in voting at all? Um, so the, there seems to be a lot of unpicking to be done and, and I'm quite keen to hear more views on, on the parameters that we use do we just go from one end of the spectrum to the other, or do we try and find somewhere in the middle that meets the criteria of some of these quite complex dimensions? And I think even added on to that is maybe a fourth dimension, which is the arbitrary application of it. Is it, a, uh, uh, is it mandatory primary legislation that dictates the rules? Do judges have an element of, uh, of, of uh, arbitrary decision-making in this? If, if, for example, you're going down the route of offence-led rather than uh, sentence-led. Um, so I think it's, it's clearly very complex, but I'm very keen to explore perhaps what kicked this off. This thought process was what you said, Beverly, on, around people who are in long sentences, whether they should have the right uh, to vote and whether it even affects them if they are not leaving prison during the cycle of that electoral term anyway. So really keen to hear more thoughts and ideas around that.